It seems that uh, PewDiePie decided to delete his Twitter account. Oh no! Huh? I isn't it funny? Like every single time a celebrity deletes his Twitter account, the press immediately becomes Charles Xavier, and they go like, "Let us find out why the celebrity did what they did." Racismus. And, and then you have articles after articles condemning the faceless people that were behind this tragedy it's almost like uh they treat it as if the person committed suicide like south park made uh, an episode mocking this phenomenon uh but in this case it seems that the people who bullied uh, pewdiepie off of the twitter might have been journalists do you think we're going to see article condemning journalists like uh, what, what on earth are you doing why are you burning the last shred of credibility that you people had I mean, it's quite hilarious how these Muppets are shooting themselves in the foot. PewDiePie is far bigger than most of your publications combined. Like, he has a megaphone and, and he speaks to the younger audience. The one that you should try to get to your publications. Because guess what? As people get older, they find jobs. They spend less time on the internet. They might get less interested with reading, you know, these publications. So... You should attract the kids. And I, I'm telling you something, you know, you might think about uh, Mr. Rogers or Barney the Dinosaur from when you're a kid, but for a lot of Zoomers, PewDiePie was their Mr. Rogers. It was their Barney the Dinosaur. It, it was that person that did the entertaining. So whenever you attack PewDiePie, imagine someone attacking Mr. Rogers. Who does that? Who does Like, what a piece of shit you need to be in order to label an attack against Barney the Dinosaur, who apparently, by the way, the actor is doing porn now, from what I understand. Very interesting. Uh, but anyway, right, so PewDiePie said that he is taking a break for a little while, which, in my opinion, is quite difficult to do on YouTube uh, for two reasons. Number one, the algorithm starts really hating you if you don't upload videos on a daily basis. Um, and number two, usually people are addicted to a certain content, and when you stop uploading videos, they start going on other channels and they get addicted to those channels so most of them might not be coming back now in the case of PewDiePie who is the biggest youtuber that probably isn't the biggest deal um it depends how long the break is going to be but if it's kind of long might lose his spot as the number one youtuber i don't know if he still cares about that he probably like at this point if i was him i, I definitely wouldn't care like look he farts and the social media is treating it as if it's trying to poison children so let's see what the article are about, right? Like he says, I'm taking a break for a little while and we got this. PewDiePie quits YouTube saying he's too tired to go on. Look at this shit. Like, do you not understand that when you do this blatant fake news, people are going to see it. People know the reality and they're going to think, all right, if they can't cover something so simple, if they can't cover like PewDiePie deciding to take a break from YouTube, how are they covering more important information that's more complex, that requires different sources? If they can't cover something that is so basic from the Twitter, literally take like poop and, and putting it on your webpage and you're putting that garbage, what about when you talk about politics? What about when you talk about, you know, like the elections? Why would people trust you? You can't even do like the most minimum fact checking. Look at this one. PewDiePie reveals real reason he has quit YouTube. These people do not understand between the difference between taking a break and quitting. And, and this is something else that they do. It's like PewDiePie with real name is Phoenix Gilbert. Power world real name. I know your name, demon. I know your name. I can control you. You know what, what's funny? When I used to make articles, um, videos about certain articles, and I would say, yeah, uh, this, this is written by James Roger. You know, people, they would get upset. Like, oh, oh, you're sending a hate map towards me. By the way, don't contact James Rush. You're sending a hate map against me and blah, blah, blah. You're, you're doxing me. You're da, da, da. They don't like it when they get named. So why the fuck do you do it to other people? You know, like, just... And I'm not saying that it happens one, literally every single time. Every goddamn single article is like, PewDiePie, whose real name is Felix Gilbert. It's like... Either say Felix Gilbert or say PewDiePie. Why, why do you constantly have to say it's like his real name? It's like, why, why, why is it even important for the story? Like, if, if I were to talk about a person, do I need to give their home address as well? I, I, I generally do not understand. 
But anyway, moving forward. Uh, YouTube megastar PewDiePie quits video site after earning approximately 25 million pounds because he's too tired and doesn't want to think about vlogging anymore. Hey, look, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, right? Like, this is a very easy job to do, like, what, what I'm doing. And, and I think PewDiePie, you know, is, is doing an a, a easy job as well because he's not like the king of video editing. He's not, he's not uploading the most well-edited videos. But think about it this way. You don't get Saturday or Sunday off. You, you don't get, like, any sort of vacation because the moment you take a break, your, the algorithm goes down. So, you know, you do it every single day. Yeah, maybe after five years I can understand why someone wants to take a little break. But no, it's like, oh my god, oh, he's too tired. He doesn't want to think about blogging. Like, are, are you guys for real? Like, most most of these journalists, they, they are in businesses that are going bankrupt. And at the same time, they're complaining and unionizing that they're not paid enough. It's like, well, you're not earning enough for your company. You, you, you want your company to go bankrupt. What? Well, what? And they're like, oh yeah, you weren't. And, and another thing that pisses me off, like they, they're, they're so jealous. They are so jealous of Felix Gilbert's success. It's like every single time, oh, he's earning so much, he's earning so much. They never talk about how much he's donating. I mean, I have read so many news articles and all of them, it's like, oh, Felix Gilbert, real name, and you know your name, you know your name. But they never talk about the donations. And uh, by the way, this, this is very difficult to find on Google anymore. Like you literally need to know what to search for because if you go for PewDiePie donations, you're going to just be bombarded by the base to be that this website is very hard to find. But look at this, right? Charity, water. So 125 billion children around the world aren't able to have uh, basic things like books, food, blankets, or water. And he donated $250,000 in order to bring water to them. Save the children. $7.4 million last year. And he raised $1 million for charity. This this is a lot, right? 25 million bro strong charity drive to save the children. And look, look how much money he's donating. $1.3 million for charity. And and this is charity to stop AIDS in Africa, to feed the, the hungry people, to, to dig water for villages. And like, what, why do they never talk about it? You know, they all like, oh, he makes so much money. He makes so much money. He's like, yeah, he does a lot of good with that money. Now look at this top tier garbage. PewDiePie, who became one of YouTube's biggest star before seeing his career dogged by allegations of racism and anti-Semitism and will be away for a little while. Yeah, who made these allegations, CNN? Who made these allegations? You know, it's PewDiePie should make allegations against you people. And then whenever I would talk about CNN, it's like CNN has been suffered allegations of blackmailing US citizens or faking news about President Trump and the piss gate and all that. But, but people are too kind. People are too kind. I, I genuinely think it takes a level of assholery to be able to work in the mainstream media because most people don't do that to the mainstream media. They literally don't. And then you have like, uh, you know, PewDiePie pointing this out. So yeah, I, I, I'm legitimately a little bit upset about it. I know it's ridiculous. You know, I'm not doing this uh, for any reason because like PewDiePie doesn't even need me defending him. You know, it doesn't even know I'm defending him. I'm not getting any brownie points for doing it. But it's legitimately upsetting when I see a person that, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, he's legitimately a kind-hearted individual, right? Like, looking at the, the charity that he's doing, looking at the guy that he presents himself off on screen, you know, maybe he's a complete asshole offline and all of this is just a face, it's a facade, it's an act, it's quite possible, right? Like, a lot of YouTubers do this, they have an online persona and an offline attitude, perfectly normal. I just don't get that vibe from PewDiePie. And, and given like how he was donating even before the accusations, and, you know, like he seems like a lighthearted do good yeah. He seems like a lighthearted guy who just wants to be left alone. He doesn't even want to participate in this culture war or whatever. He just wants to entertain people and be left alone. And the media won't do that. And when he says he's taking a break, the mainstream media says, oh yeah, he's quitting YouTube. He's quitting YouTube. Just to get their sensational clicks and to get like, uh, drive the, the edgy traffic. Um, and, and it's not, uh, not, not only this, but, um, it's, it's, it's annoying. Like you see this evilness, this evilness that these journalists are having. It's like, calm the fuck down a little bit. Stop having so much hatred in your heart. Maybe hope not hate can get on the case. Huh? Uh, so yeah, now PewDiePie doesn't have an account. He just has like the, the name register. So other people can't, uh, take his account from him. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting what he has to say when he is back. 
And by the way, if you want to see more evil, this is like when um, his house was burglarized. There were so many people. It's like, oh yeah, it's so good that it happens because he's a millionaire and he deserves it. It's like, yeah, but he worked to be a millionaire. You know, why aren't you a millionaire? It's not. It's not like he used his family connections to get there. It's not like he needed a leg up. It's like the the, the ultimate success story of, of the average Joe that managed to to do his own business and strike it rich. You know, like he is an inspiration to a lot of people. But apparently, no, that's that's evil in some way. He he is the oppressor. He is the the the, the evil dude. Or yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, makes me a little bit uh, upset. So I'll I'll end this video here. Sorry if it wasn't too entertaining. I just wanted to rant.